Development cooperation and their projects have a very difficult relation to communications. And I think that is because of the obligation to work with standard um, corporate identity rules by your donor or by the agency that you work for. And then you have sometimes projects that want their own corporate identity. And this sort of gives the impression for people that work in the project, well, I just have to deal with all these communications people. They don't really want to help me because the communications department is only looking after the sort of corporate interest of the institution as such. But they can't really help you with all the needs for the project. Now, my message to you is if you work in a project and you start new, don't really worry so much about that. Communications with video or photos gives you the opportunity uh, to, to capture certain things in your project and deal with the whole ideas and, and problems of um, corporate identity and logos and the where to place them and all that. You can deal with that later. So my message is if you start a project, maybe even before you even start it, go out and take pictures, make small testimonial videos, uh, that is ask your future beneficiaries about their situation, ask people that are hired into the project, your colleagues, uh, how they feel about the project, what, what's, at, what's at stake, what you're going to work with, all these things, your uh, local politicians or maybe even uh, higher up politicians, uh, what the deal is with the project, what their expectations are. So you get a whole little, port small little portfolio together with testimonials from different kinds of stakeholders. Um, all you need to do is use your cell phone, um, make sure that you have some proper sound, so you should maybe use an external microphone or something like that, but basically the idea is capture the situation as is at the beginning of the project. Maybe even some pictures uh, can help, you can always mix that with comments and so forth. Then during midterm you sort of repeat that, ideally you have the same beneficiaries, you have the same guys that are supposed to benefit from the project, um, you have their names obviously, you can track them down and then you speak to them how the whole thing, what change for them. The whole idea is that you have that whole set of testimonials as the word says, you have some testification testifying about what the project is all about and you can actually later show what everyone wants to show the impact of your project. That's it. I mean you don't have stats all over. You don't need that. I mean you need that for certain people but the visual part that what communications can do best that you'll have but you have to start before. You can't go to the project afterwards and show the impact if you only have that after three years. It's not possible. So get going, push the button and start getting your testimonials. Maybe talk to me if you want some some small little tips about how to get going with sound and things like that.